Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at roofs. We'll be looking at everything about roofs from types of roofs to how you go about selecting a specific type of roof and um, everything that is related to roofs. Alright, so we're going to start off by looking at some different types of roofs. So here we have some different types of roofs. Oh, if you're looking for a video on how to do a roof plan with uh, the rafters and everything, then I already did a video on that. I'll link that video down below. But what we're going to look at is how you go about selecting a type of roof for your building and how you go about outlining that. So I have some different types of roofs here. Um, we have the skillion and, and the lean to roof here. And an open gable which is a very common type of roof and a box gable box gable because this part here is closed off it's called a salt box roof um, pyramid hip roof an m-shaped roof which is not my favorite hip and valley roof um, this is very common especially in residential buildings and we're going to look at how we go about doing one of these today a gambrel roof um, this is this kind of looks like a barn roof like a mansard roof right here butterfly roof again i don't like the butterfly roof i just don't like roofs that kind of cave in like the m-shape roof and the butterfly roof but that's my personal preference combination roof which is like a combination of like um a gable mixed with a flat roof a dormer roof shed roof and the name as it as the name says shed roof used for like sheds and stuff like that we have a flat roof here um a jerking head roof here and an hexagonal gazebo roof name says gazebo roof it is often used for gazebos we have a dutch gable roof as well um right here so those are just some of the different um types of roofs no let's say you have a drawing right and you want to you want to put a roof on it now if you have autocad architecture i'm going to show you to do it in regular autocad but i'm just saying if you have autocad architecture that makes the the job a lot easier for archi AutoCAD architecture here all you have to do is here where it says roof slab but just select roof and you could select the different type of roof from over here the different type of slopes that you want um, and so on and so forth so I'm currently using a hip roof so if I click here and then I go back I'm just corners so you just click the corners and then you like that and then you press enter and that's your roof so in AutoCAD architecture it's simple all right so no for AutoCAD here let's say you're building like this all right now the, the, the closer your building is to being a uh, perfect rectangle or a perfect square the easier it will be for you to do the roof no of a building like this, it's because it's very difficult you know, to get something like this here so now let's say you have that right there are a number of things you can do you got you have different types of roofs you don't have to choose like one specific type of roof so here this is just like a series of hip and valleys um i could have chose i could have used one side to be uh like a gable side with an open gable or a box gable i could have chosen a part of the building to be like a flat slab roof and then you know i just do like hip and gable or so on on the next side or something like that so you have choices but let's say you have a building like this and you want to make a roof like this it's kind of complicated and this is why i chose this one because i want to deviate away from a rectangle or a square because while those roofs are simpler um you might not you're not always going to be working on those buildings and you want to be creative you know and make buildings with different shapes and so on so let's say you have a building like this and you want to give it a roof so what you will need to do is to set this um turn on polar tracking and set it at a 45 degree angle all right now if it's at a 45 degree angle all i have to do here is just draw some lines at a 45 degree angle that's all just draw some lines at a 45 degree angle from all the corners 
All right, so we're going to draw 45 degree lines from all the corners. Every single one of the corners. So from this corner as well. So 45 we start off with that and we can do our next 45 here also here as well um yeah and, and the rest of the corners also so like here let me, before I do the rest of the corners let me just trim And and if you're using like a hip roof or so, then this would be this can be used for any um, roof shape, any roof shape. It's it's gonna look it's gonna look kind of technical at first, but it's um it's good. It's once you on, once you get the hang of it, it becomes um, a lot simpler. So I'm just drawing four to five degree lines. That's all I'm doing. Um, John X forty five degree line from this corner also. And also one from this corner. Alright. So this is what we're gonna do. But when I bring up the lines, the forty five degree lines. Alright, so I bring them up to where they meet the next line. What I'm going to do from that is to draw a next line in um this. So in this case, I'll be drawing a horizontal line for the for the because we have, we have these triangles. So for the triangles that are to the sides, we're going to draw some horizontal lines. And for the ones that are below and above, we'll draw vertical lines. So it's like this. This line comes up from a 45 degree line angle. Sorry, this comes up at a 45 degree angle. So we meet. You don't want to continue that 45 degree angle and you also don't want to continue this 45 degree angle so we have to draw a horizontal line like this going forward i will just bring this up to where it meets our next line so the next line it meets is this line right here I'll do the same thing for this until it meets our next line so the next line it meets is this line right there good we do the same for this so this this comes across and the next line it meets is this line here and then this comes down like this and the next line it meets is this line right here no it's not our roof that's not finished so what we have to do is this we have to trim the lines so this line i need to trim this so now like i said when i bring up this to this point you don't want to continue at the same 45 degree angle so where it meets this line i'm going to have to change the angle so i'm going to trim it from there and i'll change the angle this comes down and meets this line here so i can continue this down so i have to trim it here and this one here I'll, I'll, so i'll trim that there this comes across and meets this here so i have to trim it here this is across so i can't continue the angle so I'll, let me stop that there um yeah so now we need to figure out uh, and trim this as well so now we need to figure out which um angles we're going you know using on the direction we're going in so this line comes from here and it comes up here so i can't continue that angle and i can't continue going across like this so the only thing for me to do here is to either draw a vertical line here or to draw a 45 degree line in this direction and as you can see a vertical line right here would work so what we'll need to do is draw a 45 degree line all right in this direction so what we're basically doing for you to get is we're changing the angle so this comes here I can continue line across because it meets this here so i have to change the angle and i can continue it in that direction all right because this line comes from that direction so i have to change the angle to this good i hope you're understanding and then for this one this comes down here so i can continue this line down like this this comes across here so i can continue across. so the best thing for me to do in this situation is to draw a 45 degree angle let me see right here yeah like that and there we go so now i can trim so tr enter enter so i can trim this trim that and trim that all right so now we are at this point here good we are at this point so we're 
continue this 45 degree angle because this is at that angle and we can't continue at this angle so we have to move forward now all right so move forward to where this line now meets this 45 degree angle so we can trim tr enter enter so we can trim that and uh, we can continue this at this angle we have to trim this here as well so there we go so the next thing left for us to do here now is to draw a line from here all right so we can't continue at that angle and we can't continue at the, the vertical line so you have to draw a 45 degree line in this direction like that to where it meets this line so it meets this line here and we're doing this drawing 45 degree lines vertical and horizontal lines until everything lines up so i can guarantee you that if i draw a 45 degree angle line from here to here those points will line up perfectly so let me draw this at a 45 degree angle so right there so that's my 45 degree angle and it lines up perfectly at this point here. all right and that will be the roof completed now that was a very technical one but i just want you to understand that it doesn't matter the shape of your roof or how complicated it might be the principles remain the same you're just drawing the lines at 45 degree angles or vertically or horizontally um, 90 degree angles i guess then and then you just um, bring them to the different points and change the direction accordingly and when you're finished you'll get a nice um sophisticated and complicated kind of looking hip and valley roof if you want to use a hip and valley now this this this, this side doesn't have to be like a hip I could make this side a gable um any one of the, any one of the edges so i could bring this all the way across and this now becomes a gable roof so this would be like a gable side of the roof instead of being a hip side you know so so this is one way where you could go about um designing your roof outlining um the different parts and so on and so forth so when it comes to the pitch of the roof now when it comes to pitching your roof um there are different ways you can go about pitching your roof so what you're going to do is to look for the main ridge board and the main ridge board is normally the longest ridge board so in this case the longest ridge board is right here this is the longest ridge board so that would be your main ridge board so there are different ways that you could go about pitching a roof it depends on how high you want your roof to be so we have different pitches so it, it it it's kind of related to the rise and the run of the building the rise is the vertical distance of the roof and the run is the horizontal distance of the roof so if you have let's say a quarter pitch roof that means that for every four inches of run you will have one inch of rise if it's a one eight pitch um, roof for every eight every eight inches of run you will have one inch of rise so on and so forth so these are some different angles at which you can pitch your roof so let's say I, I chose a, um, a low slope, all right, and a low slope is between 0 to 18.4 um, inches. So let's say um, I, chose, I chose a low pitch, all right. So I chose a low pitch roof, and uh, this, this is the, the highest point. So the highest point on my roof would be here. this point all right so this point so that means that from the wall down here to up here however high i want it to be if i want it to be 14 inches or or whatever whatever i want it to be you know um i bring that up and then i bring this across in my elevation of course i'm talking about and then you determine how your roof slopes so how much is this slope how much does this slope down by you can determine that how much is this slope so on and so forth and it just keeps keep the slopes going down until um you know you have your elevation finished that's kind of vague so i'll do a video on that i don't want to do it in this same video because it's kind of long and i just want to focus on one thing with each video so i'll show you how you'll do the elevation for like a roof like this and we can determine what type of how you want to pitch your roof and so on and so forth but i just wanted to show you how you could go about selecting a type of roof and designing your roof for your building so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please drop a like and subscribe um would be very helpful 
and you can comment down below let me know what kind of videos you would like for me to do so thanks for watching everybody and have yourselves a fantastic day